Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Chef Aaron, and we are going to be making some amazing food today, okay? Uh, before we do anything though, I want to see if you know about my plate. Does anybody know about my plate? I'm gonna give you a minute. I want you to think how many food groups there are, and can you name all of the food groups? Think about it. Was that a minute? I hope so. All right, I'm just gonna tell you. There are five food groups on the My Plate chart. And uh, let's see, one of them is vegetables, fruit, dairy, protein, and let's not forget about our good old friend grains. Okay. That's, that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about, um, about my plate. I'm just kidding. I'm going to be talking about this throughout the, the lesson here, okay? So don't forget about those food groups, okay? We are going to make a healthy snack today, okay? So today we are going to be making corn salsa and chips. Now, if you're watching this video and you have one of our kits, I'm going to uh, go over that near the end of the video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just keep watching, okay? If you are making this with me, uh, make sure you have the ingredients. We're gonna go over the ingredients right now. Let's see, what is our first spice here? Some cumin, some cumin and oregano. It's gonna help with the flavor of our salsa. Next, we have some black beans and some corn. Now, uh, you know, this is how corn looks. Um, you can also uh, cook some corn, boil it, and then just cut the kernels off and use it for your salsa. Uh, but today we are going to use the canned corn. All right, next we have some salt and some lime juice, both for flavor. All right, so with the lime juice, you can also use lemon juice. Doesn't matter, the same amount. So if you used a teaspoon of lemon juice, instead, you could also use a teaspoon of lime juice. All right, next we have some cilantro, again, for flavor. There's, we're adding a lot of flavor to our dish today. We have some red onion, some tomatoes, and last but not least, we have our jalapeno. Okay, let's go over our tools. We have our cutting board. We have our chef's knife. Let's see, we also need a can opener and a mixing bowl, a little spatula to mix it. And we need our measuring spoons. Okay. If you still need to get something, if you forgot something, go ahead and pause the video. Make sure you have everything. We have our chef's knife. And again, if you are using a chef's knife, make sure an adult is in the room with you. Just to keep an eye on things. If you want to be safe, a reminder how to hold the chef's knife. Not like this. I want to pinch the blade. This, this part of the blade is not sharp. We're pinching it, wrapping our fingers around. We want full control of the blade. Now, before we start cutting up our vegetables, you want to make sure that you rinse them thoroughly. I would say at least 30 seconds under the sink. Okay, let's get chopping our vegetables. All right, first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with the tomatoes. So you are going to want to cut off. See here where the stem is on the tomato? We don't want that, so we're just gonna cut off the top of the tomato. Okay, get that out of there. All right, now we're going to cut the tomatoes into slices, okay? Now, it doesn't matter too much the thickness of the tomato, okay? I want you to think for a minute, how do you like your salsa? Do you like big chunks of tomato? If you like big chunks of tomato, 
cut big chunks of tomato. If you like your tomato pieces to be smaller, cut them smaller. I'll leave it up to you. But when you're cutting it, in any case, we've cut it into slices, and now we are going to cut it into smaller pieces. We are dicing the tomatoes. Okay, we can put our tomatoes in our mixing bowl here. And let's move on to the next vegetable. We are going to do the onion. Okay, onion, that can be a scary word, okay? I know many kids and adults who do not like onions. Let me just say something here, okay? With the red onion, it does not taste like normal onions, okay? Give it a try. We are only adding a little bit of onion for taste. When it's mixed in with everything else, it's going to be okay. All right, the onion. You might cry uh, handling the onion, that's okay. All right, so first thing we're going to do, similar to the tomato, we're gonna to cut off the top of the onion here and we are going to just peel this skin off, okay? Make sure you get most of it off here. Okay. All right. And we only need half an onion, so I'm gonna cut this in half. All right, I'm gonna show you a little trick here. This is how I cut onions. Um, okay, I have my onions. I'm just gonna make some cuts across the onion, but not all the way. With the tomatoes, we cut slices of tomatoes. We don't, I'm, I don't wanna do that with the onion. So I'm just gonna cut it. Let's see how the onion is staying together. That's what we want. Okay, so we've made cuts across. Now we're going to cut from this direction. There we go, okay. And now it is diced. It is easy. That is how I always dice my onions. A little easier that way. Okay, let's do the jalapeno. All right, jalapeno. Yes, it is a little spicy, but we want a little spice, little flavor. Um, it's not gonna be too spicy though because we have a lot of other ingredients, okay? Um, all right, let's cut it. So same thing with uh, the tomatoes and the onions. We're going to cut off the stem first. And if you look inside here, there are some seeds. Uh, so the seeds are what make the jalapeno spicy. So for today, uh, I'm going to take the seeds out of the jalapenos. So I'm going to cut the jalapeno in half and I'm gonna just scoop out the seeds. And gonna cut it across, gonna cut the jalapenos across and same thing with the tomatoes and onions. I'm going to cut it, I'm gonna dice it into the size that I want it to be. Okay, once you are done cutting the jalapenos, we're going to add it to our bowl here. Let's open up this can of beans. Need help from mom or dad or somebody? That's okay. Uh, we're not gonna open it all the way, most of the way, and we're going to drain the liquid that is in the can. We don't need it. Okay, once you've drained your beans, go ahead and add it to the bowl. Let's stir it in here. All right, same exact thing with the corn. We're gonna open it. We're gonna open it most of the way. Okay, let's drain that corn. The 
Good. All right, let's add it to the bowl. Mixing it up. Okay. Okay, we're, you can just use a, a, a not butter knife, okay? We're going to level it because like I said, we want it to be exact. So we're just gonna do this. There we go, that's level. Okay, we're gonna add that to our bowl. Okay. Now we're going to want a tablespoon of oregano. So, same thing. Big heaping scoop of oregano. All right. You ready? I'm going to level it off. Okay, that was great. All right. Same thing with the salt. We want a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to big scoop. Level it off. There we go. Let's see here. We still need our lime juice. Don't want to forget that. For, for liquids, I'm just going to take my tablespoon. We need two tablespoons. I'm just going to rest it here on the bowl to keep it steady. And I'm just going to pour in a tablespoon. It's okay if it goes over a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna add the cilantro. Cilantro is an herb. We are going to just tear the leaves off. You can rip it up into smaller pieces. Okay, let's add that to the bowl. Okay, let's mix up our salsa here. And you can tell right away that is a lot of colors. Okay, so here is a tip for eating healthy is you want to have a lot of different colors with your vegetables and your fruits. That just means it's just a quick way of knowing that you are getting different vitamins and nutrients from different types of vegetables and fruits. It's really good for your body. This is the most important part of the recipe process. We are done. And it is time to taste the salsa, okay? So go ahead, if you have a chip, let's get a big scoop. We got our jalapenos and cilantro and onion. And, and we're going to try it now. Aren't you, aren't you gonna try it? Okay. All right, now I know for a lot of you, some of the ingredients we use today, you might be saying to your TV or laptop or whatever you're using, and you might be saying, Chef Aaron, don't you remember what it's like to be a kid? I hate onions. Or you might be saying, corn, yeah. More like, I don't want corn. Here's the thing, kids. I'm going to give you a little tip here because as a chef, I need to know how to make dishes even if maybe I don't like corn either or I don't like onions. As a chef, I need to know how to make certain dishes. But I have a little tip how to train your brain to like new foods. So I'm going to use the onion here as an example. Let's say you don't like onion, okay, or whatever. Think of, think of the ingredient that you don't like. Think that in your head. Onion. Scientists say in order to train your brain to like a new food, you need to eat it, you need to try it 10 times. That doesn't mean right now you grab an onion and you take 10 bites out of the onion. It just won't, it won't be good. 
This is what they mean right now. You try a little bite of it. Ugh. That's okay. It still doesn't taste good. In a week. Get that onion. Try it again. Still doesn't taste good. In a couple days after that. You got the onion. Try it again. So in between each bite of the onion, there needs to be some time. Okay? And slowly, you're trying it again. Oh, I've tried it four times. Another week. Oh, I've tried it five times. Another month. I've tried it six times. And maybe on the eighth time, it's not so bad. Or maybe you've tried it like 20 times. But now it's starting to taste good. Because this is what happens. Every time you put food in your mouth, you are telling your brain two things. You're saying, brain, this is food. It's food. And this is food that we should like. Okay? And slowly, slowly, your brain begins to accept that. And eventually, you're going to like onions or corn or beans. So I want you to take that chip, don't even think about it, and take a big scoop of salsa and let's taste it. Did you like it? I liked it. So either two things happen. Either you liked it or you didn't like it. Maybe you spit it out. But you tried it for the first time. Okay, so that's good. That's progress. I don't know about you, but that tastes pretty good. So we are not just following a recipe. We are chefs. Okay? And when you're a chef, you don't just blindly follow a recipe, okay? As a chef, you gotta taste the food. So let's ask ourselves the question, what didn't you, did you try anything new today? Have you tried onions before? As a chef, did you try anything new today? As a chef, I am always trying something new. Um, and what would you change next time? When you're tasting it, if it tastes like it doesn't have much flavor, you might want to add a little more salt. Do you like your salsa spicy? Next time you could throw in another jalapeno. Mainly, what I'm saying is this is now your recipe and you can change it however you want. Okay, next question. My plate, five food groups. Does anybody, look at your salsa right now. I want you to look at your salsa and count how many food groups were in today's recipe. I'm gonna look at my salsa. You got a number? I don't know yet. Let's go over the ingredients. Okay, we had the tomato. That was a, nope, it was a fruit. It was a fruit. You remember when I said that? Tomato is a fruit. Okay, we have fruit. Uh, let's see, we have the, uh, we said the tomato is corn. Oh, the corn. Okay. It was a, I didn't, we didn't go over it. Uh, grain. It's a grain. You thought I was going to say vegetable. Fruits. Grains. The onion. The onion. Vegetable. Whoa. That right there is pretty good. Okay, we've got three. Uh, any other, other food groups? Jalapeno. Vegetable. And beans are a, v -v 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 a protein. Beans are protein. So we have four out of five of the food groups. I would say that is very healthy. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I had a blast. 
Uh, if you have the corn salsa kit, keep watching. We're going to go over that. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Keep eating your vegetables and your fruit and your dairy and your protein and your greens. Chef Aaron is out of here. All right, if you are still watching, then that means you have our corn, salsa, and chips kit. All right, so I already did the demonstration, so I'm just going to show you what you are going to be doing right now with your kits. Step one, take everything out of the bag. That's pretty obvious, right? All right, we have all of our ingredients here. Next, we are going to take everything out of our container, just set it to the side. All we need in here, might take a while. That's a lot of stuff. I am just going to assume that all you have right now is what is in the kit. So, we have our knife. Let's cut it up, let's dice it up. Okay, we have our grape tomato. We are just going to cut it in half here, chop it up, like I said before, as big as you want or as small as you want. All right, we have our tomatoes. Let's add some beans. Done. Corn. I love corn. And it's part of the recipe. Okay, we have our onions and jalapenos. In that in. Okay, and just like the demonstration, we have our cilantro. Let's tear off the leaves here. Rip it up. Rip it up good. All right, add it to our mix, our salsa here. And, okay, we're gonna add our oregano and cumin. Okay. We've got some lemon juice. Like I said, you can use lime juice. You have lemon juice. We are going to add both packets. All right, let's mix it up. Really good here. Okay. Now, we have a full pack of salt and a full pack of pepper. Do not use all the pepper. Do not use all of the salt. Okay? We're going to open it. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Once you see the salt coming out of the package, maybe stop. Okay? So just a little bit. Same thing with the pepper. We're going to open the pepper. Start sprinkling it. I see some pepper. That's probably good. Okay, mix it up. Mix it up. Wow, guys, we did it. We made some corn salsa. Thanks so much for watching and making corn salsa with me. Until next time, I'm Chef Aaron. See you later. I really I'm putting music to this. Okay, we got our tomatoes. Now let's just dump everything in. Okay, whatever you were thinking before, whatever you were afraid of before, just clear that out of your brain, take the chip, get a nice big scoop. Yep, here it is. Here it is, kids. You know when you get married, this is what happens. Your wife calls in the middle of a photo shoot. Yeah, we're, on, we're recording, what's up? Kids, keep watching. I'm gonna go through 
using the kit with you. Otherwise, see you at the next video. What am I saying? Okay. Is that what I'm saying? Uh, otherwise, Otherwise, I'll. Next time. Otherwise, I'm still Chef Aaron! <laughs> I don't know if I should dance. Alright.